Settings in COD Mobile can get confusing, like have a look at how many settings there are. So in this video, I'll show you the best settings to use in COD Mobile. Our first setting is the FOV. You can find this setting on the basic tab of the settings menu. FOV means field of view. Basically, the higher it is, the more you can see. So you should keep it as high as you can, right? Well, the answer is no. Yes, having a high FOV can help you see more on your screen, but your aim is gonna be absolute garbage. So in this clip, I'm using a low FOV. Now I want you to keep an eye on this target. Are you looking? good now watch what happens when i switch to a high fov the target gets a lot smaller now obviously it's gonna be a lot harder to aim on that target because it's small so having a high fov is not always good now i've been playing cod mobile for three years and i found that 75 is the best fov to use for both multiplayer and br so make sure that you're using 75 on your fov settings moving on to our next setting let's talk about the damage number this setting can also be found on the basics tab and i want you to turn on this setting basically this setting shows the the amount of damage you did to your enemy this is really gonna give you an advantage because you're gonna have a better idea of your opponent's health i find the setting useful especially on search and destroy because in search and destroy a lot of times your enemies are gonna start running from you and with this setting turned on you're gonna know exactly how much hp your opponent has which of course is gonna help you win the fight and also make sure that the damage transparency is set to 100 because you can't see the number when it's low in the next setting we're gonna talk about the effects to find the setting go to the audio and graphics tab and click on the effect panel now for the effect style you want to choose the battlefield smoke and make sure that you're using yellow as the color the reason why you want to turn on the setting is because it's going to help you spot your enemy so basically what it does is when you're shooting it's going to show an explosion on your opponent's body it's basically like a free kill effect that you get on those mythic weapons now this effect is really useful for long range fight because of this effect you can understand the position of your enemy from far away and make sure that you're using yellow as the color because it is a really vibrant color moving on to the next setting let's talk about the hud to find this setting, you need to go to the controls tab and click on custom layout. Now have a look at all these buttons. It's really not that pleasing to the eye. Now if we use the simplified HUD, it makes things a lot more simple. It gets rid of all those bendy design and gives you a nice rectangular look. For this style, you need to click on this button that says default HUD and select the one that says simplified HUD. Moving on to the next setting, we have the always sprint. This is another setting you can find on the basic tab. This is a setting that's going to help you avoid a very annoying mistake. So what is that mistake? I'm sure at some point of view playing call of duty you meant to slide but you actually crouch and i know it's really annoying with this setting turned on you're always going to sprint while using the joystick meaning you'll never have to face that issue ever again now if you play search and destroy i do understand that you need to walk sometimes if that's the case then you can use the slider to adjust the sensitivity of your joystick but i recommend to just turn on always sprint because we hardly even walk in cod mobile our final setting is going to help you reduce lag in cod mobile if you want to be competitive then no matter how good your device is you gotta keep your graphics low and your frame rate high. It's gonna reduce the pressure on your device and your gameplay is gonna be a lot smoother. And I know people with high-end devices are gonna get triggered, but look, I use an iPhone 14 Pro Max and I also do this. Having that high frame rate is definitely worth it. I would rather have more FPS than having a high graphic. Make sure to leave a like if this video helped you. I'll see you later. Peace out.